It's still unclear right now if a case of monkeypox is considered confirmed here in Idaho. We did check with the Department of Health and Welfare earlier today. The first probable case was reported five days ago, but Health and Welfare says it doesn't know when the test results from the CDC will come back to confirm. And officials add that tests have been taking longer to come back because demand is so high across the country. Idaho isn't the only place in our region with monkeypox news. Neighboring Washington state has 15 confirmed cases. In King County, 250 vaccine doses to prevent monkeypox are available. Washington is expected to get more doses later this month or in early August. Callie Greenberg from our sister station in Seattle shares tips on limiting the spread of monkeypox. She talked to a researcher at Washington State University. Education is power when it comes to stopping the monkeypox virus. The more you know, the less likely you are to spread it. There are strategies in place uh, that we can utilize to kind of limit the spread. And those strategies have been effective in the past. Heather Kohler is an assistant professor at Washington State University who's studied the West African monkeypox virus. The news of an increasing number of monkeypox cases in the United States, Kohler says. It's not surprising that with a population that's not protected, that it comes up. Unlike previous generations, many aren't vaccinated against smallpox, which helps prevent monkeypox infections as well. Washington State currently has vaccines for about 400 people. Right now, those with high and immediate risk close contact will be given priority. Kohler believes this is one piece of a strategy to stop the spread, and it's unlikely right now large portions of the population will need to get vaccinated despite news of rising cases. I have been, you know, not surprisingly, a family, friends, everyone's texting me. <laughs> um, and I would like to give everyone else the same reassurance that I give them. Don't be afraid don't, this is not going to be a new pandemic, in my opinion. That's because unlike COVID-19, you can say there's a lot more in the toolbox for monkeypox. We're not starting from scratch. We know the symptoms. We know the transmission. We know the incubation period. We know the infect, uh, potential outcomes. We have therapies available. And there are several ways monkeypox can be spread through direct contact with infection like rashes, scabs or body fluids. It can also be spread via coughs and prolonged face to face contact. You can get it by touching objects that an infected person touched. Also, an infected pregnant mom can pass it on to her baby.